The third step of the autoresponder creation or editing process is where you can create messages to add to your campaign. Depending on the goal for your autoresponder campaign, you will time your messages differently. When creating a date-based series, you would send your messages leading up to your target date. This would typically be for a product launch or event. On the other hand, most businesses will use a sequence-based campaign to automate sales follow-ups or to deliver a series of lessons and send their messages automatically every seven days or so. To add your first message, click the Add Message button on the right-hand side. For a sequence-based autoresponder, the first field is where you will set the day in the series that this message will go out. For date-based, you will select the date you want this message sent to subscribers. On this same step, you can also configure the time of day the message is sent and configure whether the message is sent to the contact or another email address of your choosing. When filling in the subject line, you have the option to personalize your subject with details pulled from the subscriber's contact record. Opening up the drop-down will provide you with tokens that you can insert, which will be replaced with the contact's information when the email is sent. Continuing to the design step of the process will allow you to choose a template as a starting point for your message. Paste in content you have created outside of the system or compose a new message from scratch. Messages can be created in HTML, plain text, or both, and also allow you to insert personalization tokens which will be replaced with subscriber data when the email is sent. Saving the message commits it to the campaign and adds it to the series. Changes can be made to the message at any point by opening the autoresponder series and clicking the edit button for the corresponding message. You can also edit the subject line and schedule for a message directly from the messages grid. On the next step, you are able to configure which of your existing autoresponders a contact will be unsubscribed from when they are added to the one that you are currently editing. This helps to prevent overlapping or conflicting messages being sent to the contacts from multiple campaigns. Finally, the summary will give you a breakdown of all the details related to the campaign you have created, including a full list of the messages contained in the campaign. Just as clicking Next for each step saves your autoresponder campaign, clicking Finish will save any changes you have made up to this point. The final video in the series will cover autoresponder tracking and reporting, and the process of importing autoresponders from another account.